Hi everyone, Miss Vicki here and welcome back to the best gift ever. Because this Christmas season, we're remembering that the best gift ever, of course, was Jesus. And that when God sent his son to save us from our wrongdoing and help us have a relationship with him always. And last week we talked about how in James chapter one, it reminds us that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And we're gonna explore that a little bit more. Today, however, is also a special feast day as we celebrate the Christmas season. It is a solemnity, and a solemnity is a special feast day. And today, we spend some time honoring Mary, the mother of God. And we're going to continue listening to some of what happened on Christmas Day. If you remember last week, if you joined us, we heard the Christmas story. And we spent a little time focusing on those shepherds when they first heard that Jesus was born from the angels. And we left off during our meditation about them going to see the baby Jesus. And today we're going to pick up right there with our gospel. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's begin our time together in prayer and then I'll see you back after. Let's begin our time together with our opening prayer. By coming among us as a little baby, God our Savior has shown us how good and kind he is. God sent Jesus Christ, our Savior, to give us his spirit. Amen. So as I said earlier, we're going to focus a little bit more on our gospel today about what happened right after the part when the angels go to see the baby Jesus. Now, if you weren't with us last week, don't worry. We're going to back the story up a little bit so you have a full picture of what is happening during the best day ever, Christmas, and how we're celebrating for it whole season. But I want you to pay special attention to how, what Mary must have felt like. What do you think it was like for her as these shepherds came, as all these people came to see her baby? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that after we listen to today's gospel. The Gospel of Luke. Up into a small town in the hills of an out of the way region called Galilee, and there we find a young woman named Mariam, or we call her Mary. She was engaged to be married. And then an angel appears to Mary saying that she's going to have a son. She's supposed to name him Jesus, which in Hebrew means the Lord saves. And he will be a king like David who will rule over God's people forever. And then Mary asks, okay, well, how is this possible? Because I'm a virgin. And she's told that the same Holy Spirit that brought life and light out of darkness in Genesis chapter 1 is going to generate life inside her womb. God is about to bind himself to humanity through the conception and the birth of the Messiah. And so Mary goes from some backwoods no-name girl to the future mother of the king? Exactly. In fact, she sings a song about how this reversal of her own social status points to a greater upheaval to come. Through her son, God's going to bring down rulers from their thrones and exalt the poor and the humble. He's going to turn the whole world order upside down. So when Mary was really pregnant, she and her fiance, Joseph, had to go down to Bethlehem. Yeah, there was a decree across the Roman Empire about new taxes, and so everybody had to go get registered in the town of their family line. There were so many visitors in Bethlehem, they can't find a guest room. And so the only place they can find is a spot where animals sleep. Now nearby were some shepherds with their flocks, and an angel appears, which of course <gasps> freaks them out. But they're told to celebrate, because tonight in Bethlehem, a savior has been born. Yeah, they're told to go and find this baby, and they'll know that it's the Messiah because he's going to be wrapped up and laying in a grimy feeding trough. Yeah, which is pretty gross. Totally. And then these shepherds, who aren't very clean themselves, they go and find the newborn Jesus in this really dingy place, and their minds are blown. They go home wondering what on earth is about to happen. And this is all really strange. I mean, if God's really coming to save the world, this isn't how you would expect him to arrive, born in an animal shelter 
shelter to a teenage girl celebrated by no-name shepherds. Exactly. I mean, everything is backwards in Luke's story, and that's the point. He is showing how God's kingdom was first revealed in these dirty places among the poor because Jesus is here to bring salvation by turning our world order upside down. You know, just like in that telling of the gospel, we're reminded of how, how Jesus came for everyone. And imagine what it must have been like for Mary to not only first have that angel come to her, Gabriel, and tell her what she her role was, what the special calling on her life was given to her, but then to meet these shepherds who were told again by these angels that this miraculous thing had happened. It's that reminder, just like it said in our story, about how Jesus came for everyone. He is the most perfect gift that God could give us. And even in how he came to this world, we're reminded that he came for every single person. And you know, next week we hear a little bit more about an epiphany, about the coming of the three wise men and these kings that came to see Jesus. But today, on the special day when we remember Mary and her very special role, we, she has in our story of salvation and in this ultimate gift that God sent in his son, we remember that he came for everyone, that he came with a poor girl and that he came and was announced to shepherds who were also just living out their lives, that he came for you, he came for me, and he came for everyone. And that's why now we move on to profess this faith and this wonderful God that gave us this ultimate gift and bring all our prayers before him. So let's begin with our profession of faith together. Please stand for our profession of faith and respond, yes, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, who longed to send us Jesus as our Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, God's Son, who will come again to be our Lord and King? Yes, I do. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who stays with us until Jesus comes again? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the gathering place of all who wait for Jesus to come again? Yes, I do. Knowing that Jesus came to save us from every evil, let us ask God for all that we need. Please respond to each prayer with, Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For good shepherds to lead and guide our church, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For wise and just leaders, in every nation on earth, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For loving parents and kind children in all the families of our parish, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For God's special blessing on the poor and needy in our community, let us pray to the Lord. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. And what else would you like to pray for today? For all those things we say, Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. Thanks again so much for joining me today as we continue our Christmas celebration of the best gift ever. And we remember that every perfect and good gift comes from God. Now, we of course have one more week in our Christmas season and I can't wait to celebrate it with you next week. So make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and have that notification bell clicked so you know where our next video goes live. All right, let's end our time together in prayer and then of course, what would Christmas be without a Christmas song? So we'll join together in our closing song. I've had so much fun with you. Bye for now. Loving God, 
thank you for sending us Jesus to be our King of kindness and Prince of peace. May his wisdom, strength, and love guide us all the days of our lives. And may your holy name be praised forever and ever. Amen. We're gonna dance, lift our hands, celebrate it's Christmas. Light up the world, Jesus is born. Raise your voice, make some noise, it's Christmas. Let's celebrate and shout for joy. There's a reason why we sing and why we celebrate. It's Christmas time, yeah, it's Christmas time It's the season that he's given us a gift so great It's Christmas time, yeah, it's Christmas time He's the light of the world, come down to us From heaven now everyone sing a gift so great it's christmas time yeah it's christmas time he's the light of the world come down to us from heaven now everyone